I didn't do that. see it but there's a right behind our camp here it goes it's a high ridge up here all right three years ago when me and Fred explored up this way we've actually discovered uh, you know a few interesting things you know I mentioned earlier in the earlier clipping we worked our way back down upon finding a nice teepee structure we came out of the wood line and you know you can see how thick it is up through here we found large track impressions going through the tall grass actually leading them back this way actually we found a large very large bedding area of whatever might have been bedding there but whatever it was used it quite often because it was well wore out the um the uh ferns that were smashed down were discolored rotted from whatever it laid there and used it and also what I mentioned earlier too, I'll mention it again. This is the same location where we had whoops at us. We had four to five whoops in a row. And guess what? The audio recorder was not even turned on at the time. And it was sitting on top of Fred's Jeep, which was parked right here. Our tents were right over there. So... Yeah, the frogs are starting to act up on and off here. So we're we'll getting the fire going. We'll probably uh, we're gonna have some marshmallows and uh, roast a few wieners. So, yep. But for your information, the squatches are here. I I kind of count today as pretty much officially as day one, even though it was yesterday we got here. And uh, we got set up just in time. It was like pouring out rain. It started, the rain came down hard, heavy, lasted for a good three hours. And uh, like I said, I had, we had the tent and uh, tarp set up. And uh, I had to actually end up dumping because our tarp, I mean, it was so heavy, the rain was making its way through the tarp. But uh, I actually had a smaller tarp with me, thank God. <laughs> um, but it worked out great. And uh, stayed up, enjoyed the rain last night. And uh, today we did some exploring. Um, tell you what, we found some awesome stuff. Um, I've actually found some tracks. Um, today's tracks I've been finding. Um, I actually uh, found some smaller tracks, you know, possibly bare. Uh, but some of the ones I ate closely, uh, the tracks, they weren't didn't seem to have that uh, separation in them. They all looked consistent as being one solid track. Um, and these tracks were about between 20, 10 and 12 inches long. Possible juvenile. And, um, they were actually going up over a little bit of a, an embankment and they were all consistent in size. Um, right here behind me, I was staring at some deer tracks and I saw impressions going across the road here. Now these were here fairly large ones, 
But after examining them, I, I conclude that they are bear tracks. Mm -hmm. There is a separation in, in um, it's something that you want to look for very carefully when you're looking at tracks in the leaves or any impressions in the ground. If it's one solid step, if it's one foot, not a double step like a bear is common for when they step from their rear to the front, you will see a common, uh, excuse me, you will see a separation. You'll see a break in between, especially in the leaf impressions. If it's one complete foot, you'll see one solid impression. Something to keep in mind. And I found a combination of both. So I've been seeing a lot of bear tracks, and I found some squash tracks. Day one, not bad for day one. Uh, these tracks were fairly uh, recent. They were fresh. Um, found some structures, very fresh uh, tree breaks. And, you know, tree breaks, yeah, they're not so exciting. But it's the ones you find fresh that are twisted. That's what I like to find. So, meanwhile, I'm going back to the camp. And we're going to relax. Um, I got the audio recorder. Uh, it's going to be put out tonight. And uh, I got two trail cameras. They've been set out since yesterday evening. I'm not going to touch them or bother them till the day, uh, till Monday we leave. When we leave Monday, we got we're headed to. Uh, actually, it's a church picnic. So uh, it's going to be a great weekend. It's already off to a great start. Uh, we have actually had, we were down here at the river earlier, actually taking a little dip, and it was very refreshing. So. Well, till next time. John looks at you at camp having a few marshmallows. And our neighbor campers that are over here next to us through the woods a little ways. Well, I actually met them earlier down at the river when we were swimming. Come to find out that he's, uh, I work with them. They're giving off vocalizations over there right now. Which is awesome because... They know who I am and what I do. And maybe they what they're doing might trigger something. They were doing it for a while. They kind of slow, uh, slow down a little bit. A lot of frogs and chirpers right now. So if we listen for a little bit, you might hear, you might hear their vocalizations over there. I do got the audio recorder going right now. We gotta watch out. It's a frog! Oh, he's, oh, leave him alone. He's trying to get away from you. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Really he's not. He's one of the, that little frog is one of the ones that make all this. I wanna pick him up. Where'd he go? Got the lantern. There's Brianna right behind me sitting in my chair. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got the fire going over here behind me. And I so want some vocalizations that don't belong to humans. Last night it was quiet. I mean, it, after the rain died down, all we heard was... This chirping that you hear right here, like intensified times three. Yeah. What you're hearing now, they just started up. Those guys were active full force last night. Very loud. And probably about 10, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock, they came to a dead stop. Finally. With my trailer cameras behind camp, space apart. One's directly behind the tent, off the side a little bit, and one's over here to the far way down there off the side. So.
right here, nothing. Just want to give you an idea of what we got going on right now. Maybe we'll get something on the audio. I don't know. If you don't hear nothing while we're awake, hopefully something will happen after midnight. Because um, a lot of my audio, I always pick the howls and everything around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Now this time of year, it's early in the year, I've actually, early in the year you'll start getting it, somebody will get it between 9 and 10 o'clock where it'll start acting up. But as later in the year, as the weather gets warmer, you'll hear it a lot later in the early, early morning hours. Yeah, as far as vocalization and activity, I've triggered the times of years when they actually start and end and so forth throughout the year. It's when it starts to get cooler, like around September, it's when they start a little earlier. It all depends, really. It varies. Sometimes it could, you know, it could be vice versa, but then at the same time, what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that tree knock right there? Yeah. Give me my spotlight. We just had a tree knock. We just had a tree knock right over here. It's right there. Give me my headlamp. Here, hold this like, hold, come here. Ow. That might... There could have been them over there too. Yeah. I don't know if they... That was awful close. They're, they're not that close to be doing that. That was right here. All right, I'm gonna jump off here and turn the camera around. Turn it in soon. Just before I started filming right here, I, ho I heard a howl of some sort. Didn't sound nearby. Could it have been a camper? Yeah, very possible. But it was kind of a long extended howl, but then again, it wasn't long, long. But... but activity, it seems to happen when you least expect it. It also happens when you don't try to listen for it. Usually that's how it works. I got my audio recorder out. I'll be going through it tomorrow. <sighs> so we'll see. Brianna's already laying down. I'm about to go in there with her myself and lay down. For now on, I think when you're out there squatching, don't overdo it, just relax. When you know you're in a hot spot, stay put. The best squatching you could do is right there at your camp. ago this was a hot spot for the activity that took place and here it is three years later it still is seems to be quite a bit going on here tonight and I'm not just talking about the chirpers the frogs or whatever but like you saw a little while ago earlier when I was filming, I was talking and explaining something, and then from out of nowhere, knock. Right here at camp. 
between up over at the other campers, but it was over here at our camp. There is a there is a little distance between us and the other campers, and it's a little swampy marsh area between them uh, between us. Just inside this tree line, it's wet and marshy. So it might be worth checking out for tracks tomorrow morning. Got to see what made that that knock real so uh, real close to us. Well, I'm gonna lay down and get comfortable. And uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna relax and not overdo it. I'll be out here again June 4th through the 11th. Doing what I do best. God bless.